Hello everyone, I'm Jayla Norman here with Coach Scott Strickland. Coach, the baseball season's just around the corner, so tell me first and foremost, what is the team looking forward to most coming up this season? Well, opening day is always exciting, and uh, I think that's something that everybody looks forward to, the fans, the players. Uh, so just getting out on the field and actually playing, uh, playing in front of a full stadium and getting back to normal, I think that's what we're all, I think, excited about, just not only baseball players, but fans in general, just coming to Foley Field and uh, being able to sit in your seat and enjoy hopefully some nice warm weather and, and just getting back to normal and playing baseball. And speaking of fans, uh, the season tickets are already sold out, so fans are, are very excited. What does that mean for the team, just to, to play in that energy, play in that environment and have these fans behind them? Well, it does give energy when you go out there and you have full full uh, stands and everybody's uh, excited and everyone's being loud, it does give you energy whether you're a player or a coach and, and we need that. We need that here at Foley Field. We need a home field advantage. So we need the stands to be full. We need the greenhouse to be full. We need everybody here to be excited and you know to have those season tickets sold out, that's exciting, but the single game tickets are still available. You know They've got a flex plan where you can come and see some different games. So just because we have that sold out out there doesn't mean that tickets aren't available and that's what we want to make sure people understand is you can still get tickets to games just are a lot of season tickets have been sold out. And who are some of the new faces that fans can expect to see uh, coming into the season? Well, Corey Acton, uh, he came from the enemy. He played at the University of Florida and we had to play against Corey for three years and was a thorn in our side, just a really, really good player and decided to, to make the move and, and come to play for us. And he's going to play second base, just a really exciting player. And, and then when you a lot of guys coming back. And, but when you talk about new faces, Coleman Willis, really exciting young freshman pitcher that we're going to see. Cole Wagner, an, another freshman you'll see running around in the outfield and playing some first base and can really hit. But uh, Davis Rokos, a, another uh, transfer. Dylan Ross, a junior college transfer. So those guys on the mound are guys that we're going to see a lot and we expect a lot of. You mentioned that there are guys coming back. What does it mean uh, for you and for the team to have that veteran leadership and have those guys return? Well, the last several years, we could be considered a young team. A lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores playing, and there's a time that we could have five or six fifth-year seniors on the field at one time, and, and experience is good. Uh, talent is important, but having talent that's experienced is huge, and we have a lot of that, and we're going to put Connor and Cole Tate, Chaney Rogers, Garrett Blaylock, Ben Anderson, Josh McAllister, just rat rattled off five guys, six guys right there that are fifth-year seniors, and that, that's extremely important and uh, we've just got a lot of talent that has experience. This off season and you know, training, preparing for the season, what are some of the biggest focal points that, that, that you guys have focused on? Well, number one is staying healthy, and sometimes you can't control that, but uh, Coach Gearhart in the weight room, Zach Adams, our athletic trainer, all those guys, we, we've all gotten together to make sure that we're doing things to get these guys going in the right direction when February 18th hits that we're as 100%, as close to 100% as we can be. And, Staying healthy, getting stronger, getting better and improving is important, but uh, staying healthy, number one. You guys had a heartbreaking end to the season last year, but how do you use that as motivation coming into this season? Well, anytime you have something like that happen, it, uh, it puts a chip on your shoulder and you don't want to have that feeling again. And uh, Essentially, we were one game short. You know, We felt like we were very biased. We felt like that we should have gotten in, but we didn't. And uh, when you put yourself on a bubble, you put yourself there for a reason because you have some negative check marks as you, you have some positive things too and, and we've got to get rid of some of those negative check marks. You got to win one more game. You got to win every time you go out there. You got to get a bunt down. You got to move a runner over. You've got to get ahead in the count as a pitcher. Little things add up to big things and the end of the end of the year last year we were one game short and that's one little thing that we didn't take care of. Football won the national championship so there's been a lot of excitement here in Athens. And how does that help you guys that it comes right before the baseball season starts? How does that, that energy and that excitement feed into the baseball season? Well, we all want a part of it. And it was so much uh, fun to, to see it, to watch it, and to be here and to feel that energy. Uh, and our players felt it. They're no different. And uh, they want to feel that. They want to have a part of that. Our fans want to feel that again. And uh, you get greedy for it. You, you just want to continue to win and have that great feeling. I told our players, you know, I, I predict this, so we're going to win the national championship in football. We're going to win it, and as soon as it's over, you're going to get starting texts from your friends and from your relatives, hey, you guys are next, and lo and behold, we all did. We all got that. So, you know, expectations are good. Uh, we feel like this is a really good team. We feel like that we can uh, make a lot of noise, and uh, our goal is to get to Omaha and challenge for a national championship.
Sounds like a great goal. And we're all looking forward to the start of the season, so thank you so much for your time, Coach. Okay, thanks, Jayla.